Hey everyone, here's my simple DIY survivalist blowgun. I built this using less than $5 in parts that I found at the dollar store. So really anyone can try this, but please be careful, use common sense, wear protective eyewear so you don't hurt anyone or yourself while trying this. It's very simple. Basically, you'll need to buy five items. First things first, you'll need a broom. Now this broom specifically has bristles that are different in length. Here I've already taken this broom apart. It's basically just unscrews from the actual handle. The ones that I've grouped off are actually too long and you want to use these ones in the center and you can use a, all of these to make about 10 to 15 darts. I haven't counted exactly, but basically what you want to do is take some pliers and very gently wiggle and pry out this little plume here. So you'll be left with one of these, which is nice because it's easy to work with. There's this little thing that sort of looks like a staple that's holding these together. That's perfect. So what you want to do is get three of them and then set those aside. Next item you'll need is the baking tray. These are actually cooling racks. You can get two for a dollar. So those are pretty nice. You can see I've already sort of cut these apart. I started by cutting each end and then cutting it in the middle. And it doesn't really matter how you do that. So you want to be left with a section that looks about, let's just do it here. Cut it here and then here. So here we have our portion that's going to act as our needle for the blowgun. Next what you want to do is buy some wire. Now you can see this wire here. This came in a three pack so you have tons to use for this. You're going to need about I'd say about six to eight inches of wire, probably less. So what you want to do is start by modifying your needle. And this is very simple. Basically, you want to take some pliers, which they also sell at the dollar store, but they're very crappy. And you want to take about a centimeter and make an L like this. Then you want to take that L and grab it at the very end and get a good grip on it. Bend it over like that and then pinch the two together so you get this little loop. This is going to act as a stopper for when you pull it through this portion here. So next what you want to do is take your three little plumes, whatever you want to call them, and you want to set them, set two on the bottom, then put this one on top, and then this one sort of holding the three together. So you have something like this. Next, what would help is to get a zip tie they also sell at the dollar store for like, you can get like 20 or 30 of them for a dollar, which is pretty ridiculous. These things are really useful. So you just use, you know how the zip tie works. If not, you're going to learn today. Alright, so, yeah, that's not supposed to happen. So if that happens, you just put it like that. And that might move around. It's going to be, it's going to be all over the place for a little bit. But you just basically want that to sit there like so. You can clip off this end because that's going to get annoying. All right, so here's what you have so far. Looks pretty decent. Next, what you want to do is make sure that the little needle is actually pointing inward. So if it comes out, that's fine. Okay, then what you want to do is take your section of wire, cut it off there. Then take this here and grab it with your pliers. You want to sort of get about the same length that you're actually going to be wiring it. So like this. Okay. There we go. And then grab it here so that it, that stays. Everything sort of you want everything to stay there, obviously.
and then if your first couple little um, rounds aren't that tight, that's not that big of a deal. But as you go, it'll become better and easier to use too. Okay, so I just want to go around. And I'm doing this fairly quickly, so you guys can do it on camera and I don't really bore you to death. Okay. But you want to be as you want to be as clean and as neat as possible using the pliers, tighten it every so often. Okay, and then when you have this little excess portion, you can see here. Just tuck it over this here, and just like you might want to actually use a little bit more wire, but you guys get the picture. Okay, and then just bend that over, and you have basically the beginning. This little thing needs to be sort of tucked in. There we go. So as as that's sort of unfolding, you can take off this. You have your your back, and you can see the wires in there. So you sort of want to wiggle that around and adjust it so that it sits in there nice and comfy. Then pull it all the way to the top so that it's in there as tight as possible, and it's going to lock up in with this little thing here. And then you want to cut it about an inch and a half away. Okay. Now you can see I cut it a little bit longer, but that's because I'm going to use a Dremel tool to sharpen this little needle tip. And you can also use like a file or sandpaper. Basically, I'm just going to like twist it on there slowly. If you're going to try this, wear eyewear if you're using like protective eye goggles or something. Alright, so that's decent. This is sort of a very small little cone, but it's it's a pretty sharp little tip. It's just going to help pierce whatever you're shooting it into. And be careful because that can be a little bit hot. And yeah, it's kind of hard to see. But in comparison to these, you would want to use, like, you would want to spend a lot more time making the needles tip a little bit better. You can see how this is a little bit, it's pretty sharp. And then you want to take some super glue, which is optional, and put it on there, like in the center. That way this doesn't move around, because right now this is going to wiggle around a little bit here. Next thing you want to do is take your last item, which is one of these little cheap grabbers. It says long reach and pick up. So that's basically just like a little, um, here's what the item looks like, the tag. On reach and pick up. It's like a little, you squeeze this handle here, and on the other side you have this little grabbing surface. You just basically want to pop out these little rivets here, really cheap rivets. Push that through, um, and then this all just comes apart. Try and be careful with the other end because you don't want to bend this barrel. And then that basically acts as your blow gun portion. This is optional completely. It's just a flashlight and laser for aiming, which doesn't really do that much. But you can see how you just stick this right down the barrel. It's not the best one. You want to make sure that you also bend in these little um, notches here because otherwise they're going to scratch and you can just use pliers to do that or whatever. See how this is nice and clean and they're sort of all pointing towards the middle. So you just put this in the barrel and be careful not to inhale, obviously. There you go. I can just, it can probably stick into this mat if I do it. Yeah, so it's all right. This is a specific mat that's used for a, it's like a rehealing mat, but show you guys a quick test demo right here in a sec. So here I have three darts, one's in the barrel, pretty self-explanatory. Really nice thing about these is they have this small little like feather portion right at the end, it's about an inch. You can see how it gets kind of like feathery and real thin. 
that's used perfectly because it grabs the air and creates a nice seal when you put it in the barrel you can see like so I'm gonna back up about five feet and total I'll be about ten feet away and I'll show you guys how this works You want to aim about two feet above. You get the hang of it after a while because it's going to drop pretty quickly because it's pretty heavy. Not too bad. First one was the best actually. And you can see they're penetrating pretty nice. That one went, all these went to the base. So it's really about being able to calculate the arc needed because these are going to go pretty far because they're going with enough velocity. It's just the, the weight is pulling them down too quickly. So if you had like an air gun that you made, these would be ideal, I would say. So like I was saying before, you don't even really need a blowgun. You can just throw them like regular darts. And they shoot, they fly really straight. Oh, I went high. I meant to do that. That's like pretty accurate. But even look, this is, this is a pretty tough particle board. And it went, it's enough to actually pull this off the wall. So if you throw it hard enough and your tip is nice and pointy it's gonna do some pretty good damage so please be careful if you decide to try this at home it's gonna be really tempting I know to want to shoot like this out in your backyard but make sure that there's no one behind or just take proper precautions and you know use common sense so please subscribe Leave a comment below if you like this video, these simple household DIY projects that I think everyone can be able to try at some point. And thanks for watching.